Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel World of AWS. I hope you all are doing good. So myself Bipin Kumar and today we are going to discuss about AWS Security Hub. So what is AWS Security Hub and why we need to use it and in what case we can use it and what are the benefits of using AWS Security Hub. In simple word if uh, I want to explain then I will say like AWS Security Hub is threat uh, centralized threat detection service okay it will fetch all the finding from AWS config PPC flow log and um, SSM parameters and many other services and it will push to AWS Security Hub console okay so let me walk you through this theory uh, then I will show you in the real time how we can implement it, how we can configure AWS Security Hub. And as I told you, it's centralized security management tool. Okay. So you can configure this security hub in your infrastructure account or organization account. Uh, and you can collect all the findings from uh, no matter how many AWS account you have you can collect all the findings by using uh, by adding your AWS account in the infrastructure account and organization account whatever account you like to configure AWS security hub okay and you don't need to go to um, every account uh, and you need to check all the parameters which is uh, like creating the creating the threat and um, creating the issue as well for your infrastructure security okay so let me walk you through this aws security hub is another managed um, security service provided by aws web services okay it's act as a central dashboard as i told you it's central security tool okay and aggregation point of security finding and alert from various aws services as well as the third party security tools its primary goal to help you gain a comprehensive view of security posture uh, across your AWS account and resources making it easier to identify and prioritize uh, and respond to potential security services issues sorry here are some key benefit of AWS security hub centralized aggregation as I told you you can uh, collect uh, all the findings and security issues from uh, multiple AWS account how many um, AWS account you have it doesn't matter and you can collect all the metrics in a specific AWS account okay and you can check multi account and multi region you can also leverage it in multi region if you want to like uh, configure it in the north of Virginia then you can also collect the security findings from uh, Ohio and Sydney and any other or Mumbai region any other region you can collect it automated compliance checkup so it security hub run the scan automatically uh, on the cycle basis uh, for your AWS account and infrastructure okay prioritize finding it will prioritize the finding like uh, say low secure uh, low um, low severity uh, high severity and medium severity okay custom insight you can customize the uh, like uh, dashboard and the findings and you can um, check the threats okay integrated with third party tool security hub is supported integration with the third party tool as well automated response uh, workflow okay continuous monitoring it will monitor uh, uh, all the things con um, continuously collaboration and sharing cost effective okay consistent security posture and here I have like diagram and workflow you can say of AWS security okay so let me zoom it first then you might mm -hmm. okay so see here we have uh, partners uh, AWS, uh, whatever third party tool we are using okay so AWS firewall AWS system manager SSM, AWS Guard Duty, AWS Inspector, AWS Masia, and AWS IAM Analyzer. Okay, and 
AWS security hub collecting all the findings and security uh, issues from all the resources and it's pushing to AWS security hub okay and just by going to the AWS security hub we can check it all the findings and security issues okay so here we have like a reason <coughs> one reason and here we have members account as well okay and you can uh, understand it like how it's collecting all the security um, issues from different different services and pushing it to security hub so let me jump to the aws console and show you how we can configure it okay let me search for security hub security hub okay by default it will be not enabled so we have to uh, enable it first then only uh, it will run the scan and it will collect to all the finding whatever finding is there okay so here you can see we can just go to the security aware uh, 30 days free trial uh, free days trial it give uh, i am using aws free trial account okay so first one lakh uh, health check is free sorry not free so it's zero point it's almost free you can say and this much uh, to this much it's uh, it will uh, cost around this and you can see the pricing model here so first 10,000 is free okay so let me enable it okay so by default AWS uh, foundation security best practice uh, v 1.0 okay security standard we have and I am going with the default only enable security hub so let me no I don't want to enable that one so here we have uh, I have enabled AWS security hub for, for my this account okay and here we have summary so security score it will show uh, it will um, like uh, whatever services we are using under AWS account according to the security concern it will score our AWS account okay and we can see it here all the findings and all the reason if we, if we have configured for different reason according to the reason we can see the uh, issues and with the priority severity okay so like critical high medium and low okay here it's saying one medium so let me check so what is it and why it's showing so medium new workflow status active us is one account id this product security hub aws security aws config should be enabled so whenever you are going to use aws security hub you need to enable aws config as well okay because i don't have any services or anything running on this aws account so i just uh, like uh, showing you for demo purpose so that i have not enabled aws config but in the real time if you want to con like uh, configure aws security hub uh, for any project or something then you have to first uh, enable the AWS config so what is AWS config AWS config monitor all the configuration whatever configuration you are uh, doing uh, whatever the configuration changes or modification happening by any user in the AWS account or infrastructure that things are get managed by AWS config okay and resources this one account and compliance status failed updated at three days ago okay so it's showing so let me go to the summary again okay and here we can see low we have 15 okay so you can see ensure log a matrix alarm exists config configuration changes so it's saying like please enable the services 
just enabling the services and we have to configure the like alarm as well we can configure so whenever the uh, any security concern with the high priority triggered so we will be getting one alarm as well in that case so i have shown you the summary here okay so we can see the insight what about the finding we have s3 bucket finding new finding over the over time by the security ec2 instance uh, findings ami findings iam principal findings and many other services finding you can see see uh, latest finding from aws integration so as i told you it's collect the findings from aws guard duty aws amazon inspector amazon messia aws health AWS IAM Analyzer, AWS System Manager, Dispatch Manager, AWS Firewall Manager. So, whenever you are using AWS, Guard, sorry, Security Hub, then you have to make sure that you have enabled all the services. Okay, this many services, so that they ser that services will collect the findings and it that services will push the findings to AWS Security Hub, so that you can collect the metrics here and you can check what is happening there okay and we have here control so here we can see security score and failed how many uh, status check and security con security con uh, scan uh, got failed and what are the uh, like it's not able to detect the what are the things happening so it will consider at uh, consider it as uh, unknown and what are the security check uh, got passed it will consider that as passed okay so uh, what are the services it disable it will show here no data 273 all enabled 273 so it will detect all the data and it will uh, show visualize here okay and here we have security standard so AWS foundation security it's a just kind of version okay so you can enable it according to your requirement okay cis aws you can uh, you can check the aws documentation aws security of documentation documentation i will put the link in the uh, in the description okay you can check it if you want to know more about the security standards here we have insight okay so it will just give, give the um, brief of whatever findings we have so it will just give the uh, brief visualization of that security issues okay and what are the findings we have it will show okay here integration we can integrate it with the other uh, services as well okay a chatbot aws config aws audit monet manager amazon detects detective firewall manager and we can integrate with all other services here as you can see and there is some uh, third party tool as well and we can use that and we can integrate it here we have a lot of services that we can integrate so we have one bridge okay which will uh, like run the security scan uh, once in a 24 hours okay and it will uh, detect all the security issues and it will uh, like uh, raise the alarm or whatever things you have configured according to that and you can check the like which okay you can check the which dashboard and you can get the idea about the whatever findings it have so in intuition like you can create rule here okay and you can configure it according to your requirement here so settings here we have here we can configure the account or whatever account we want to configure and we want to collect the um, security findings from that a specific account we can configure it okay and we can uh, configure the finding aggregation okay in the reason and custom action yeah, here we can create the custom uh, configure AWS security hub to send selected insight and the finding Amazon event will by creating a custom action okay so uses whatever uh, security standard we are using and what are the cost here it will show here the pricing model 
in general like it is enabled or uh, like auto enable new control in hand uh, enabled stand okay service permission resources policies disable AWS security hub here we can uh, from here we can disable it so that's it for this video I hope you found this video informative if you have any concern then please put them in the comment section let me know I will glad to help you out on that so don't forget to subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel then you can check my other playlist I have created AWS uh, from a scratch AWS playlist from scratch you can go through that and you can check my other playlist as well so and if you wanted want me to make any other uh, video on a specific topic then please do let me know uh, in the comment section thanks thanks for watching see you in the next video